definitely different than any other noodles we've tried here. We are at Bato Pahat Complex Niaga Benteng Pasirai. This is our second road trip and our first order of business is this nasi biryani kambing at Muhammad Shah and this place you can tell it's very busy and it's locals favorite for sure because there's just long line for tapau or to go or even to eat it. This place apparently is open from for brunch, like 10, until they run out of food. So they have this huge tub of rice, um, of biryani, the curry. They also sell nasi biryani ayam, but since we're a kambing or mutton fanatic, then we have both kambing. All of us are just very um, hungry. We're starving that no one's talking right now. So this thing about this biryani, so it doesn't really have like the Indian flavor, so you don't get like the cumin seeds, but it does have a touch of it because you do have the cardamom, the clove, the cinnamon, and the anise. You actually will find a piece of anise and clove in here. So it's definitely more on the aromatic, less on the punch you in the face kind of spice. It's more of like the subtle aromatic kind of spice, which is nice. It's really nice when you mix it all together with the pieces of the mutton, the kambing. And then we're also gonna get some of this dal. I'm gonna throw some of this dal in here too. So many spoons, they actually ran out of spoons, so I'm gonna use just straight up hands with this. They ran out of plate and they ran out of spoons. Yep, that's how busy this place is, they run out of that. I'm gonna take a little of this uh, achar, just like this pickle fruit. I'm gonna mix it all up, let's, let's try it all together. Mm. I've done, adds a little more creaminess to it. It depends on your plate too. Mine came a little extra sauce. The piece of mutton they gave me was more doused in the sauce. You add in a little bit of achar, you get kind of a tangy, a little bit of sweet. And some bits are spicy in the achar too. It comes all together. This one's very unique. Like, I like that we're trying a different kind of biryani here. We're used to a couple different styles. This is a brand new style for us, the Malay style. So we're here on our second stop of the day. This one is Asam Pedas here in Bato Pahat. This is Siyana Asam Pedas. Initial Asam Pedas plan is already, um, they run out of fish already. So this is our second choice. Up next, another Johor specialty. Well, it's especially a few parts of Malaysia, Asam Pedas. We've had Asam Pedas before. We actually cooked Asam Pedas. We put a card up here for that video in KL we did. But we know it's a specialty in Malacca and also here in Johor. So this is actually our first time having it in Johor. And this one looks really interesting. Look how deep red this gravy is. And we got it with a fish head. So we actually ordered a half fish head. Want to see what a half fish head looked like? That's what a half fish head looks like. It's still huge. We thought this thing was a full. We thought we made a mistake. This is half, but it looks amazing. Like the meat on the fish head is really one of our favorite parts because you gotta think the fish, the head doesn't really move. You know, the body moves, the tail moves. That's why it gets more like solid, more like tougher. This is the most tender part of the fish because it's, the head is just like this. So you get the nice cheeks, you get the side. Oh, this looks so good. So we had to order it. And we're here with Linda. Hi guys. <laughs> He's eating again. <laughs> and she tells us what's special with uh, Johor style Asam Pedas is the laksa leaf. So we have a whole laksa leaf in here. Man, I, I just can't wait to dig in. Big piece of the fish head meat right here in that gravy and put it on this rice. I'm gonna douse it in this gravy. Alright, look at that. Look how soft this fish head meat is, my god. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. 
You have that tamarind, that's the assam in there, and the padas a little spicy. Mm. I love to get that sour, that spicy, that salty. It's like a bit of sweet, but it's really more on that sour and spicy side. Really nice combo. Mm. This is very rich. Fish is very meaty. You can make a steak out of this fish. What's next after some walking would be more eating. <laughs> We're here at Girai Mi Rachun for some Mi Rachun. Look at that noodles. Mm. Almost like spaghetti, like yeah. Filipino style spaghetti, but not really. Mirachun is a specialty here in Batu Pahat. So rachun means poison, so poison noodles. Am I gonna die after eating this? Mm. <laughs> Let's hope not. But <laughs> and I, the name is just because, just to kind of get people to come and try it, I think is like kind of a way to get attention and it worked because it's a popular dish here. This looks really interesting. So it's got the yellow noodle. It's got a lot of different veggies here. Almost feels like a little healthy. You got a uh, potato, carrots, chopped celery. You have um, cabbage green peas, you got I believe this is celery leaf, onion, you got so much in here. You got this thicker, kind of gloopy looking sauce. It's reddish brown, There's so much going on. And you have these awesome looking gearbox. So what is a gearbox? Think of what, like a transmission, like a manual transmission, that's what they call it, gearbox. So it's like the knee bone shank of the lamb. And none of it goes to waste. You can't waste that beautiful marrow that's in here. They give you the straw. So we're gonna slurp that out too. Let's try some noodles first. Take with some of the veggie. Mm. Definitely got a sweetness to it. We got tomatoey flavor. It's like a little spice too in the back of it. The sauce even is a little gloopy. It doesn't feel too heavy. It works well together. the kind of contrast of the texture of the softer, chewier, yellow noodle with all the vegetables, especially when you have that cabbage, the celery. I like that the veggies add that crunch and add a little refreshing kick to it because it's kind of a, feel, it feels like it's gonna be a heavy dish once you get down to the gearbox in there too. And then I'm gonna go straight up and try this marrow. Ooh. That lamb bone marrow is so rich, gluttonous, oh man. We have all this nice cartilage and meat on the side. You can smell it off. Mm. I love lamb shanks. It's just such a nice bonus to add on to these noodles. These are nice. They'll be different than any other noodles we've tried here. I really can't even compare it. You know, Linda says it's uh, like mi bandung a little bit. And we're gonna try that eventually when we get some more. You know, that's a specialty there. So we're gonna have to compare that uh, when we make it there. But this is nice. Get that savory, kind of funky, Lamb, the sweet, the crunch, really balanced, like funky noodle dish here. Good stuff. Come to Batu Bahat, try it. Look at that, look at that.